Evening, everybody. It's a little late tonight, um, but I had my stepson here, so I was out and about for an early dinner. Okay, so this is your video closing video for Thursday, the 29th, and it was kind of an interesting day. Um, the market was higher right from the get go, although. Um, the NYSE stocks were substantially stronger, actually four times stronger uh, than the NASDAQ. The Dow was up 153.60 or 0.44%, and the NASDAQ was only up 15.68 or 0.11%. Uh, the internals were a little soft there too, uh, two to one up in the NYSE and only 1.4 to one up. Uh, on the NAS and volume was down by about 20%. So a substantial drop in volume, even though uh, we had some very big losers in tech, um, most of them actually on better than expected numbers. S&P was up uh, 1851 or four tenths of a percent. Uh, the uh, Russell was up 1507.68, and the transports finally bounced back a little. You know, they were the biggest gainer today at up eight tenths of a percent, $113. But um, they've been so pounded down that, you know, and underperforming on the up days that, uh, you know, that doesn't really hold much. Um, today we had. Uh, 24 of the Dow stocks up, six of them down. The only double-digit loser was Amgen, and that only paired 12 Dow points off the index. And on the upside, they were also very subdued. Um, Goldman Sachs adding 22, uh, UNH 19, Honeywell 16, McDonald's 15, and everything after that. Um, Ten dollars or under. Uh, we also had Robinhood today, a big disappointment, I think. Uh, came at thirty-eight, opened at thirty-eight, traded it up to forty and a quarter, collapsed seven dollars down to thirty-three and a quarter, actually thirty-three thirty-five. And uh, the last trade that I have is thirty-four eighty-two down three eighteen from the price. Uh, we had uh, the Facebook continuing down, uh, although it did kind of stabilize. It was a little bit lower uh, in late trading, but uh, it was holding between the 357 to 360 area most of the day. It's about 355 right now. Um, Amazon, a surprising miss on revenues. The stock had closed 35.99 down 30, um, and when the miss on revenues, even though it was a big beat on earnings, uh, the stock fell all the way back to 32.12. Uh, the last I have is 33.50. That's down 280 or 7.7 percent. Of course, the stock has been up a lot, and frankly, I think that they kind of. Um, needed a reset for the new CEO um, so that they lowered expectations all around. Uh, T-Mobile also, same situation, was up. Uh, earnings were up. Um, the stock had closed 144.63, down 49 cents. It traded down to 139.43. And the last I have is 142.78, and that's down two dollars and twenty-four cents, one and a half percent. Um, a beat also. Skyworks uh, closed 196.67, up 460. Uh, traded first up to 199, then down to 185. So both a new high and a new low on the day. And finished the day at 186.95 down 512. 
Pinterest was the biggest surprise. It beat top and bottom line, but when it gave guidance and talked about the number of daily active users, the stock just fell. Uh, I mean, it fell hard. Um, last that I saw was 58 and a quarter, and that was down over $18, 24% on those disappointing user numbers. And we had, uh, you know, a disaster du jour and a home run of the day. The home run of the day, we'll start with that, ERYP, a biotech company that has an FDA fast track on a drug for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Uh, the stock had closed the day today at 411 down 13 and when this news hit right after the close it ran to 25 um, let me just check to see what uh, the last is and the last on the stock right now still trading till eight o'clock is nine dollars and52 cents. With that high of 25, a low of 410, and the close up 528 or 125%. On the downside, the one that I mentioned to you uh, this morning, ANVS, Anovius, uh, that stock last Friday was 132, closed yesterday 109, um, and today fell as far as 41. 109 to 41.31. Uh, the last there is right on the low, 41.50 down, 67.94, 62%. Uh, this chart on the screen is clearly my favorite of the day since we're long. Uh, this is the gold, and I want to point out something to you. Last week, or Two weeks ago, when the gold hit a high of 1835, it closed at 1829. It was right, it was the second day hanging right there under the 200 day moving average. Today, after that test and the break of the trend line to the upside, it hit. 1832.60, so a lower high than that, but the close of 1834, uh, pardon me, yeah, the close of 1831.20 is the highest close going all the way back to uh, June the 15th of this year. Uh, this close when it made the high was 1829, as I said. Uh, 1835.80, we're th solidly through that 200-day, but we're still below the 50-day. So uh, tonight, we're down about a dollar with a very short range. Let's see what that range is. The range is 1828 to 1829.90. So uh, very quiet. We'll see what the overnight brings and see if we can't move higher. Uh, we had great news this afternoon. I put out a separate uh, video uh, that you should have seen by now. Uh, I will reference it on my daily note tonight. Tellurian signed a deal with Shell. That's Royal Dutch Shell. Um, pretty impressive 10-year contract to um, service 3 million homes. Uh, the stock, which closed yesterday at uh, 365, uh, this morning was actually trading down a little part of the day. Uh, the low on the day was 351. It was trading around 360, 365. When the news hit, it ran up to 427, closed regular hours at 398, and then in late trading, um, 
didn't make a higher high, but the last trade that I have is $4.13. That's up 48 cents or 13%. And I think that this stock is going to be a home run. Uh, I mean, Sharif Sufi, the guy's Suki, the guy who is building this. I'm a big fan of his. He also built um, LNG, Chenier Energy, from the same kind of humble beginnings. And uh, I really have very little doubt that he's going to do it again here. Okay, so tomorrow, Friday, personal income and spending, PCE. Employment Cost Index, Chicago PMI, and University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment. So have a good evening, and I'll be back first thing in the morning with a pre-opening comment. Have a good one.